Good morning everyone! So today is a new day. I'm actually getting ready to go to my second ever legit audition. <laughs> I don't feel nervous right now, which is good. I hope I continue to not feel nervous later. Based on the thumbnail and the title of this video, I'm sure you already know what I'm auditioning for. So, fingers crossed, praying to God, Lord wish me luck. <laughs> I'll try the video as much as I can because I know for sure you're not allowed to film the whole thing. So let's see what happens. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye! <laughs> 317. So we're here at the audition area. We're all waiting. Woo. We're all waiting for our numbers to be called. And I made new friends! <laughs> Did you hear my other friend? Evidence <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mommy. <laughs> These are my new friends. We're all auditioning for vocalists. Hopefully, we all get in. <laughs> just came from the audition. So before I tell you guys what happened during the audition, I will be telling you all about my experience, my tips for you guys, and maybe tell you guys a little bit about what you shouldn't do when you're at the audition. All right, so first let's talk about my experience. So the character I auditioned for was Tiana. I don't know if you guys realize that or not, but Tiana's the princess from The Princess and the Frog is such a great movie. I love Tiana. I always have. She's just a really inspirational princess. <laughs> so the audition started at 9 a.m. but they said that registration is from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So you had to be earlier than the audition time to register, to relax, you know, not to panic. I got to the venue at like 8.30. 40 around that time. By the time I got to the venue, there were already a lot of people. Some were lining up to register, some were already sitting down. I think all in all we were about 100, more or less. So I got there, I registered, I made so many new friends. Some of them auditioned before last year, some of them, like me, it's their first time. And some of them, like my other friends, they even came from Iloilo just to audition. It's like far, 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 far. So around like 8.45, 8.50, one of the ladies stood up from her chair and she started giving us tips about the audition, like what to do, what not to do. She told us about the people who were there. And I don't know, when I got there, I wasn't really nervous because I was just smiling and talking to everyone, making new friends trying to maybe get tips from them as well since others have been doing it longer than I have. And I learned a lot, which is great. And now for the audition part, I will be mixing that a bit with the tips because that really goes together because the tips are for the audition. <laughs> so tip number one, do not be late. They said that they would start at 9. They started exactly at 9 a.m. Do not be late because I saw like two or three girls who came in late and they said, nope, registration is over. We said we'd start at 9 a.m. Registration was from 8 to 9. You should have been here earlier. Too bad. What if those girls could have gotten in? Also, know what you are auditioning for. You should know about the requirements, the time, the venue. All of those are really, really important because some people didn't know that there were specific roles to be auditioned for, which is fine because ultimately the judge's decision where they want to put you because, for example, you could be auditioning for Elsa, but they want you for Ariel, which is fine as well. But those specific characters have height requirements like my character, her height requirement was from 5'5 five five to 5'8, five which is good because I'm 5'8. <laughs> you also have a requirement for your voice range, so you need to make sure that you fit in that voice range because that is what they are looking for. 
I also think it helps if you look like the character a bit because there was this one girl. I'm assuming she auditioned for Rapunzel or Elsa because she was singing Tangled and Frozen songs and she looked so much like them. And speaking of looking like your character, I think I was the only one in costume. <laughs> but there was this other girl who had really long red hair and her outfit was like green and flowery. I think she was going for Ariel, if, or if not, she looked like Ariel, so. <laughs> Another tip would be to relax. Do not stress about it. Do not make yourself feel nervous because that will ultimately ruin your performance. If I were you guys, when I'd get in, I'd make friends right away, sit in a group of people who are talkative so you can just, you know, release those nervous jitters and have a good time. And even when my number was called, when we went up to the next studio, I was even making friends with the people in my group because I didn't want to feel nervous. I just wanted to go in and have fun. And speaking of numbers being called, you really have to pay attention to the person who's calling out numbers because some people miss their chance to perform because their number was already called but they didn't show up. They were either in the bathroom or talking in the studio so they didn't hear their number. So it's a wasted chance. And now for the audition part, we went upstairs to a separate studio where the judges were the people who were going to judge us. <laughs> and some people said that they were intimidating, but honestly, if you just set your mind to think that they are just people who want you to do really good, who are cheering you on, I think that helps a lot because it didn't make me feel that nervous. Because honestly, the judges just want to see you succeed. They are looking for great characters. They want you to be the person they are looking for. So tips about the audition. Again, just relax. If someone else is singing, be happy for them. Like, don't be like, oh, I'm better than her. I'm better than him. He's not getting the part. She's not getting the part. You're all there to support each other because you are all great. If someone makes a mistake, don't laugh at them. Don't insult them in your head or insult them to your seatmate. That's just not nice. So regarding the judges, do not waste their time. And just don't give them attitude. Because I heard that one girl did and they did not like it. <laughs> also, since we couldn't bring a minus one, there was already someone playing the piano. And we had to bring our own music sheets. And that is another tip. Bring your music sheets. That was part of the requirement. It, it said that you had to have 16 bars for your song. Make sure that it fits perfect for your range. It shows your vocal range really great. So you really needed to have that as well because if you did not have your music sheet, that's already embarrassing for you because it's a requirement. You needed to be ready. So the only choices were don't sing, like leave, or ask the person playing the piano to play you a Disney song that I'm sure they knew by heart because they work for Disney. Speaking of song selection, I know it is a Disney audition, but I don't think you are required to sing a Disney song. You can sing any song as long as it shows your vocal range really great because other people didn't sing Disney songs. But I think singing a Disney song is a great plus because you are auditioning for Disney and they are looking for Disney princess or Disney princesses who will sing Disney songs. So another tip again for the judges and the pianist, you know, just be friendly, be respectful, be nice because these are very important people and you just don't want to get on their bad side. Also another tip for the audition, if I were you, do not wear too much makeup because it just covers your face. They want to see how you look like, what's underneath all that makeup. <laughs> if you want to wear makeup, it's fine, go ahead. As long as it's like very minimal and as long as they can still see your face or, or how you really look like without the makeup. But again, if you want to wear makeup, that's fine. <laughs> so tips again for the audition. It helps if you're like really lively and if you smile a lot. And it also helps if you move a bit, like don't just stand there and look boring and sing la 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 la. As you know, Disney characters are very lively and animated, so they don't want someone who's like na 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 na. That's boring. Nobody wants to see that in Disney World or Disneyland. 
Also, I know I was the only one in costume. You don't really have to wear a costume. I just wanted to wear it because you know, I wanted the channel, my inner Tiana, and you know, just get the feel of the princess. But you don't have to wear a costume. It's fine. <laughs> Other people who auditioned were wearing jeans and a blouse or you know, just very normal things. So it's really up to you to decide what you want to wear. If I were you, wear something you feel comfy in because you're, you don't know how long you're going to be there. You might be there for 30 minutes, an hour, maybe two. So you don't want to feel like, ugh, during the audition or the process of waiting. And now for what you guys have been waiting for, the result! Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Guys, I am not a Disney princess. <laughs> I mean, I know I said that you shouldn't be nervous, but you know, it was, it was like my second legit audition and you know this is for a big company this is for Disney so I I don't think it's super possible to not feel nervous I mean okay come here. and now we have someone else <laughs> so if you guys don't know, this is Carlos, my brother. <laughs> How old are you? 19. What? He's turning four. <laughs> so he will be joining us for the end of this video. So yeah, I did not get it. I know I said not to be nervous, but yeah. I think it's super impossible for you not to feel nervous, even just a little bit. So I got nervous. I messed up the first line and yeah I mean it was a really really great experience though but of course I was disappointed because I wanted to be a Disney princess because you know who wouldn't want to be a Disney princess I know it's not every girl's dream but it's some girl's dreams like me and and I dream about tap boy <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I was a little disappointed that I didn't get it. I only made it past the first round. If you made it to the second round, the judges would make you sing a song. You have to prepare this song that they give to you and you sing it with either someone else or in a group. So I did not make it to that round. I guess the only way to say this is... <sighs> I'm never gonna sing again. I am done with singing. I am never going to sing again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course I'm still going to sing. Of course I'm coming back to the next edition, which is What's probably Which is probably next year. So I will definitely be there. I mean Me too. <laughs> this is just a very minor step back. Uh, of course I will be there again. I don't want to be that person who gives up after being rejected once. <laughs> I'm going to come back next year which means I'll have a whole year to prepare. Uh, also me. Because there were these like there was this group of girls behind us in the waiting room. Like they were prepared, like really prepared. They knew how to read music sheets and they understood like the keys and the notes. I didn't know any of those things. I literally had to ask my music friends guys, what do they mean by 16 bars? I did not understand what it meant. So obviously I wasn't super prepared like they were. So it's very understandable. I mean, if they chose me and not them, I'd be in shock. <laughs> also about the requirements. They also have an age requirement as well that you need to be at least 21 by the addition. And I am only 20. So next year I will be very prepared for that because I'll be 21 next year. So I know I didn't get in, but again, it was a great experience for me and for everyone else who auditioned because I know that they only selected like a few people. We were a hundred. So the cut down was like whoop. So I think that is all I have to say for the video. Again, I'm not giving back. I'm coming back stronger next year. One of the things that made me feel good is that people knew who I was auditioning for. I said I obviously looked like Tiana. Some said I should have auditioned for the Moana lookalike. I would have. I really wanted to, but 
Her height requirement is 5'3 to 5'5 and I'm way past that. <laughs> so hopefully next year there will be a Tiana look-alike. Who knows, I might get that. That would probably be easier. <laughs> So again, that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on for more videos. If you guys have any additional questions that I did not answer in this video, please feel free to just leave it down in the comments below. I will make sure to answer every single one of them because I just want to help you guys out. You know, for the people who haven't auditioned, for the people who want to audition but are too afraid because they don't know what will happen, I would love to help you guys out. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. That's all we have. Bye! Say bye! 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 Hmm? Ah, why still there?